Pace elimination. They're going a mile for a $25,000 purse. Here they are. One is Future Treasure and Eric Ledford. They start from their program number one. Entry mate 1A, I Give Diamonds, and Tony Morgan. They start from post position four. When wagering on the entry, just call out the number one. You need not call out anything else. Two is Henry Clay and Dave McGee. Three is Arizona Liar, catch driven by Brett Miller. Note the driver change. Both the two and three, Henry Clay, Arizona Liars, start from their program number. Four is our horse of the night on the front page of the program. That's Three Olives and John Campbell. They start from post position five. More about them in a moment. Five is the Mystocles and Andy Miller. They start from post position six. Six is No Hassle and Tim Tietrich. They start from post position seven. And completing the field, seven, Randolph Duke. They start from post position eight. Again, you wager by the program number. You probably know by now when wagering on the entry, even though it's a two-ply entry in the exacta, they are considered as one. Top of the stretch for the seventh of Maywood, the Windy City Pace Elimination. Here they come. And they're off on the far outside. Randolph Duke is going for the lead. Three olives left quickly, and it's three olives who takes the lead going into the first turn. Down along the inside, Future Treasure is second, followed in third by Henry Clay. Arizona Liar is fourth, taking back, looking for a seat of which there aren't any, is Randolph Duke. He's going to have to drop back to last as they move to the quarter. The leader is three olives. He opens up three lengths. He's racing a bit off the pylons. Future Treasure is second. Henry Clay is third and under a snug hold. First quarter, 27-3. and three. Arizona Liar is fourth. He's under a good grip. Then in fifth, I give Diamonds by two and a half. The Mystocles is sixth. No hassle is seventh after a tough first quarter, tougher than it may look. Randolph Duke is the trailer. Now there's activity in the second tier at the three-eighths as I give Diamonds has pulled and supplies covered and no hassle. But up front, loose on the lead is Three Olives, the big favorite. He leads it by three. Future Treasure is second. Here comes Henry Clay, first over in third by three. The half, 56 and three. 29 seconds for the second quarter. It's Three Olives, the leader by a length and three quarters. Henry Clay moves up aggressively in second. Future Treasure in the pocket, third. Arizona Liar on the inside, fourth. I give Give Diamonds two and three quarter lengths off cover in fifth. The Mystocles lacks room in six. No Hassle has dull moving cover in seventh. And the trailer, Randolph Duke. They race to the three quarters. It's three olives, the leader by a length and a half. He's under a good hold. Three quarters, one, 24 and two, 27 and four for the third quarter. And three olives is opening up a little. He leads it a length and three quarters. Henry Clay into the pocket second. That pocket vacated by Future Treasure, who is third. Arizona Liar is fourth. Mystocles on the inside fifth. Parked in six. That's I Give Diamonds. They're in the stretch. It's three olives by two and three quarter lengths. Henry Clay is second, then Future Treasure. It's three olives from start to finish. Henry Clay second, Future Treasure third, Arizona Liar fourth, Themistocles fifth, I Give Diamonds six, one, 52 and three. The seventh is official. Exacta 4-2, $5.80, 580 on the 4-2 Exacta. Returning to the winner's circle with a spectacular effort is for Three Olives, our horse of the night. Three Olives is a three-year-old son of Jenna's Beach Boy out of the Abercrombie mare, Mood Indigo. is owned by Ellen L. DeVisser Limited Liability Corporation of Holland, Michigan, trained by Joe Holliday. Of course, well driven by Hall of Famer John Campbell. Three Olives pacing to a winning mile of 152 and three, his second in a row, a great time on a chilly Chicago evening. 
making the Windy City Pace Elimination presentation, our general manager, Ken Keene. Three Olives, with that victory, pushes his seasonal earnings over $200,000, and he now pushes his career earnings over $800,000. Over $800,000 in earnings and just 27 career starts. And John Campbell now being presented with another trophy. John requesting that the girls come along with the trophy for winning the Windy City Pace Elimination.